it is a quarter-final game between Tottenham and Manchester City, while Liverpool hosts uh, 2004 winners FC Porto. Analysts believe we will have a harvest of goals in both matches. But let's hear what Yemi Adesoya has to say as he joins us on Skype. Now, uh, Yemi, Tottenham most seem to think they have exceeded a lot of expectations in the Champions League already this season. Uh, will Manchester City just be too much for them to handle? Oh, well, good morning, Chidebe. Um, yes, Spurs may have overachieved this season so far, but still, the fact that they, you know, got knocked out of the Champions League Championship race um, earlier on, this gives them their, probably their only chance of making a proper stake to the season. Now, they play a city side that they know very well. And um, in knowing them very well comes, you know, they say with familiarity comes, you know, contempt. Um, so on the basis of that, I'm sure they will give City a really, really, really tough ride. I expect a really tough game that I'm expecting that. With the fact that um, Spurs are just trying to get used to their new stadium, we might have a, a high scoring draw in this one. Now, uh, City did not fare very well against Liverpool last season. That was another English opposition in the Champions League. Do you think uh, they seem to, you know, lose a grip when it comes to, you know, uh, separating the EPL from Champions League fixtures when they're playing English teams? Um, I think you take each game based on, you know, what it offers. And that's why I said that um, in games like this, familiarity build, you know, breeds content. And um, because you know your opponent so well, you play them at least three times in the season, you tend to be able to predict what they will do. And knowing that, yes, at some point in time, Spurs had given City a few things to worry about. But even though lately City have not lost to them in their last four games, you have to say Man City are overall favourites. And they're obviously also chasing the But, yeah, me, you say favourites. Now, Harry Kane and Son you mean how they've been in devastating form in front of goal, especially at home. How will that City defence cope with, uh, you know, the, the duo of Son and Kane? Well, they, they just have to be calm, like they always are, be composed in possession. As always, City would edge possession in this one. And uh, what they need to be careful is to avoid holding the high line, because Son Heung-min is probably one of the quickest players in Premier League. On the breaks, Spurs are always devastating. They would hurt you on the break. So I think with the composure and keeping the most of possession, City will be fine. However, I note that Spurs have just moved to a new stadium. This is their second game in their new stadium. It will take some getting used for them in the new stadium. For instance, the struggle against Palace okay. and have to yeah, wait for two games before they got to win. Yeah, but let's move to Anfield now, where we saw Mohamed Salah score his 50th for uh, Liverpool. Uh, they seem to have recovered their scoring form at a crucial time in this campaign. How will Porto fare at Anfield? We know they are not uh, shy of scoring away goals. Well, first and foremost, Liverpool put five past the same Porto side last season in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. um, this is a Porto side that have not lost in the last six. So they have some level of momentum going for them. But still, overall quality, momentum, and what have you seen in favour of Liverpool? I think Liverpool will score a few goals. Uh, my worry is, can they stop Porto from getting an away goal? Liverpool might score as many as three goals in this one, but can they stop Porto from scoring one? If Porto get one, it puts the second leg right in the balance. Well, Porto don't necessarily have a good result against English sides. Do you uh, I think Liverpool might have this at the back of their mind going into this game? And also, considering uh, the Liverpool is also trying to win an uh, EPL title for the first time, it's been a very long time in the history of the club. Well, I, I, I've said that um, Liverpool should focus on winning the Premier League and forget about the Champions League because hey, they have five European titles anyway. Um, but as it is, the club seems to be comfortable with the squad he has that he can go on both fronts. Um, with Porto's performance against English sides, 
And like I said, Liverpool's overwhelming performance against them last season puts Liverpool firmly, you know, in the favourites category. And I think Liverpool will be good enough to get a really good, comfortable victory today against Porto. All right, thank you very much, Yemi, for your time this morning.